Hello, the practitioner here again. Bachelor of Science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, magician, parapsych researcher, technical agnostic and Fortean skeptic. Um, I had made a slight misquote on the uh, second law of thermodynamics. Um, it was the total entropy of the universe, both the system and the surroundings, that increase in a spontaneous reaction, and um, only and uh, there was no net change on the on the total uh, on both the system and the surroundings. Um, when the uh, sorry, it's on the it's on the total, uh, the universe, not the just the surroundings, um, uh, when it's reversibly or reversible. So I made a slight mistake in that, but um, if you actually follow the math, uh, that would still mean that you know, uh, depending on whether it. Um, it's still probably likely that uh, there would still be a... Um, the, uh, so technically it is true what I said, that there would be an increase in the surroundings, but no net change on the surroundings uh, necessarily in an equilibrium reaction. I just had... Um, uh, technically what I said was true. I just hadn't clarified my wording well enough to point out that it was actually the universe overall um, as well. That was, the, that was the major point, and the surroundings were a small, uh, small part of that. So uh, like I said, I apologize for that. Um, slight correction. But uh, now that that's known, basically what it talks about is um, uh, basically the mathematical equation um, is um, S is for entropy. So for a reversible process, delta S universe equals delta S of system plus delta S of surroundings equals zero. And the irreversible process, um, uh, delta S universe equals delta S, um, delta S uh, system plus delta S surroundings is greater than zero. So, okay. So slight, um, let's be... But that would basically mean that the entropy would still have to go from the system into the surroundings in order to increase the net amount, like you know heat transfer outwards or entropy going outwards. So technically, that would still maintain true. It's just, you know, anywho, you get my point. Um, so that being said, I'm going to uh, leave it at that. And uh, you know that that having been said, uh, like um, anyway. So like I said, basically it was about the entire universe, not just about the system surroundings. I stand corrected on that. I had misquoted. Um, is corrected now. Uh, hopefully you guys will, uh, will be able to get that correctly now uh, by watching this video response and the problem will be solved. Um, as for the guy who quoted it in, in the particular case, I've meant to his particular criticism. Uh, however, the bulk of his other stuff was replete with ad hominem attacks and hasty generalization fallacies, so I blocked him from commenting on my videos. Um, this is not going to be a precedent. Uh, this is a one-time thing. Um, Ad hominem is against me. I will generally leave up, and I'll just uh, you know leave. I will just ignore the user. However, when you add hominem against uh, when you add hominem against my girlfriend, uh, uh, you know if there are ad hominem attacks against my girlfriend, that's a very different kettle of fish because uh, she is not part of the debate, and so therefore uh, you know that's irrelevant to the data, and I will boot you for that. Um, okay, so I think that pretty much covers it. Um, toodles, and uh, keep uh, keep watching the vids.